scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Front Street Fights Amateur Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, making his MMA debut with us tonight, standing in an even five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at an even 137 pounds, fighting out of Portland, Oregon, proudly representing American top team out of Portland. Please welcome Junior Salas. His opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right, making his MMA debut as well. Standing in at even six feet, weighing in at 134.8 pounds. Fighting out of Idaho Falls, Idaho, proudly representing Phantom Fitness, let's welcome Bodie Bird. Our official when the action begins, Nasty Nate Decker. So here we go, Berg and Salas starting off the evening. The door has been shut and locked, and we are underway. Ooh, nice exchanges. A rapid start from yes. both men. So good exchanges. Body kick there blocked by the elbow of Berg. Ooh, nice job. He's definitely taking advantage of his reach. Berg in the unmarked trunk, Salas in the trunks, marked with the American flag for the American top team. Nice high kick there. He also ends it back with his own head kick. That's what you want to do. If you are the shorter fighter, you definitely want to close that distance. That was a great takedown there by Berg. Salas landed the clinch. But Berg managed to flip it on him, take him down. But at the moment, Salas has ground control. Control him. Don't let him up. Don't let him up. Keep him down. You hear his coaches telling him, don't let him up. But unfortunately, they were both able to stand back up. A couple exchanges. Both fighters back on their feet now. Just about 40 seconds gone here in round number one. Three three-minute rounds. There's a cut on the right side of Berg's face. Yes. And Salas, he's a southpaw, which that means your most dominant hand is your left hand. So if I was him, I would like to see him be on the outside of Berg's lead leg to make sure he's cutting off his angle. He's looking to take his back, looking for a takedown, a trip. There's a good takedown there for Salas, score him some points. And now he's got Berg up against the cage. Both these fighters making their MMA debuts, so not sure if either knows what to expect from the other. Right, but they're both well prepared on in every position. Every position, they have an answer. He's looking to pass. Sal's is looking to pass. A little ground and pound. He's in his half guard, which is when you have one leg in between your opponents. Going to look to mount. He's now getting shots in. 45 seconds left in the first round. It's lots of time still. <laughs> you don't want to get too high on his hips because then they can roll you over. So he definitely wants to take his back, but within control. Salas is landing shots to the body and the head. To look for a finish. 30 seconds left. Uh, there's still 30 seconds, not 10 seconds. I don't know why the time went off, but he's slowly. Oh, okay. oh. That's the end of the first round. So Salas trying to choke out Berg there. But at the end, the whistle goes off before Berg taps out. Although it didn't look like Salas really had much of a grip there. Right, he was able to control him. They had a very fast start from the jump. They were able to both exchange punches. Both men came out throwing in that yes, first 15 did. seconds. So I was able to clinch, but Burge was able to initiate the takedown and stay on top. That was a good job there by Berg to move the back. And then Solace this time got the better of Berg, getting him on the back and then just taking out the leg. Yep. 
and was able to use that cage as his friend to keep him, keep him against the cage, putting that pressure. Kept him against the side of that cage until the round ended. Was looking for a submission, a rear naked choke that didn't end up forcing Berg to tap. So the fighters will stand up. We'll start round number two right now. Yeah. Look for an exchange. Both men walked to the center of the mat and threw punches. Well, that was a nice knee. Another nice knee. That one was from Berg. Both men landing knees. Clinched up and a big takedown. So he's in that cage. Oh, nice reversal. He's able to sleep and get back on top, and now he's in mount. He's looking for punches. Maybe perhaps take his back again. Berg able to roll over. You want to look for your hooks. Sauce doesn't seem like he has great position here. It's, it's called what? It's called a body triangle. And it's when you have your legs as a figure four. So one leg's wrapped all the way around and you're able to control his hips. They're right here in front of us and he's doing everything right. He's trying to fit that arm in there. His coach is telling him exactly what to do to finish this. And he's telling him, get your forearm behind his back to make that choke a little tighter. Yeah, he's got the choke. But he lo looks like he lost it. He did indeed. Burge is doing a great job of defending. He's trying to use the cage. Like, oh. And that was and a Berg nice finish. Taps, yeah, oh, finish for nice Salas. Finish. I was very impressed by both fighters for it being their debut. They were both very well-rounded and well-skilled. Both certainly well-rounded fighters, and it ends with a decision, a tap out by Berg, solace the victory via submission here in his MMA debut, coming from Portland to fight here in Front Street Fights 21. And we're right here up against the cage. Take a look at the action from round number two. It started off with that takedown, and then from there, neither fighter was able to get back to their feet. Yep, and he was able to um, be in mount position. You don't want to be in mount position. That, and that's the finish. There it was, Berg. It was tapping. Yeah, They're on the other yeah. side. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! And a very excited Junior Salas as he gets the submission victory in his first ever MMA fight. That was a very nice finish. It showed a lot of heart on Burgess end. He was doing everything right, as trying to defend that, doing two on one, trying to not let him get comfortable. And now we'll send it to Britt in the cage for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the particulars, how about a round of applause for both of these combatants here tonight making their MMA debuts? But we do have a winner. We have a winner by way of rear naked choke, a tap out of 119 of the second round for your winner. In his MMA debut, fighting out of the blue corner, representing American top team, Junior Salas.